Hello， 大家好，唔知道大家有冇听过最近喺外国好流行嘅一个人物叫做 Mary c o n d o 呢？如果你冇听过，又或者想知道点解我叫佢做美式断舍离，又或者你已经做紧断舍离，但系觉得硬系争咁啲嘢，可能你就系争咁少少 Mary c o n d o 咁究竟 Mary c o n d o 同断舍离有啲咩关系，同埋有啲咩分别呢？你就要睇下呢个 video 啦。咁究竟其實 Mary c o n d o 係邊個呢？其實喺幾年之前我就已經聽過 Mary c o n d o 噶啦，我諗喺啲書局嗰度會見過啦，見過佢嘅書啦。咁我嗰陣時就以一副鄙視嘅心態去望呢本書嘅，因為我覺得有冇搞錯啊？執嘢係每個人由細到大應該都要識做啊，點解我仲要睇一本書教我點樣執嘢呢？我覺得呢本書簡直係呃錢啦。咁但係咧 ，fast forward a few years later， 我冇諗過佢而家可以喺 Netflix 嗰度、呃、有一個。自己嘅 show 叫做 Tidying Up with Mary c o n d o 佢呢個 Netflix show 就係二零一九年開始播出嘅，單單係呢一個 show 咧就已經令到佢喺美國啦、澳洲啦、New Zealand 啦，甚至乎係新加坡啦等等呢啲地區咧 ，Google Trend 都係直線上升嘅，即係勁多人 search 邊個係 Mary c o n d o 而家甚至乎咧啲人會將佢個名變做一個動詞或者一個名詞添，就會見到 Oh I Mary c o n d o my husband, I Mary c o n d o my bedroom, or I Mary c o n d o my wife's cupboard， 就、so, 已經變咗係一個誒、uh, 動詞。甚至乎有一個叫 Con m a r y Method 去形容點樣執嘢嘅方法，而 Mary c o n d o 佢嘅故事都幾得意嘅。咁佢自己喺本書度有講到話，其實佢自五歲開始已經好中意執嘢啦，甚至乎好 dramatic 嘅，即係佢話佢到咗某一個位，佢覺得抌嚟抌去點解都抌唔到，即係點解都唔覺得屋企係整齊同埋乾淨咧？佢突然間就有一個 panic attack。你諗下幾咁戲劇性，幾咁 dramatic。咁呢個 Netflix show 其實係講乜呢？我會將個 link 擺喺 description box 下面，所以你都可以睇下。咁其實呢個 show 呢，就唔係佢點樣起家嘅，其實佢一早已經喺二零一零年出咗一本書叫《um, The Magic of Tidying Up》or something like that。So I'll put the The two books here. So there are two books that she had published. 佢有出過兩本書嘅，兩本書都係講你點樣可以誒、um, organize 自己屋企嘅嘢。咁佢嗰個 approach 咧，同斷捨離有些少分別嘅。斷捨離大部分人理解嘅咧，都係要抌一啲你唔需要嘅嘢。反而 Mary c o n d o 講緊嘅嘢係點樣 keep 一啲你真正需要嘅嘢。Mary c o n d o 講嘅嘢就係比較情緒化少少，比較 emotional 啲。啊，你嘅屋企係一係你嘅 shrine 係你。嘅宮殿，誒、um, 佢代表嘅係你嘅 mind space， a clear space 等於 a clear mind。你嘅屋企係乾淨嘅話，你個人都會更加平靜啦，同埋平和啲嘅。咁同埋佢每抌一樣嘢嘅時候，佢都會話哦，你要多謝嗰樣嘢帶曾經帶俾你嘅歡樂。咁究竟 keep 唔 keep 一樣嘢嘅時候，諗下究竟佢有冇帶俾你開心同埋快樂？咁究竟點解佢咁出名呢？就絕非一個意外，其實係製造出嚟嘅。咁第一個原因就係因為佢出現咗喺一個啱嘅時候、啱嘅地方。佢呢本書雖然喺日本出版，但係其實佢有好多 popularity 都係嚟自美國呢一個地方嘅。喺二零一零年出咗呢本書之後，二零一一年地震之後佢嘅 sales 係飆升嘅。個原因就係因為可能大家地震完之後就真係開始諗，究竟自己人生之中、生命之中重要嘅嘢係啲乜嘢？而佢喺二零一五年嘅時候咧，已經被 Time Magazine 封為一百個最 influential 嘅人物之中其中一個，因為佢去咗美國一個 materialistic consumerism。最都幾高峰嘅一個地方，大家不停買好多嘢，不停有好多唔同嘅誒 sales 啊 ，Black Friday 啊，或者係 fast fashion 啊，所以佢嘅出現話俾人聽，哦，其實你可以抌嘢，令到你個人比較、呃、平靜啲、平和啲，簡直就係出現咗喺個最啱、最適合嘅地方。到咗二零一六年咧，佢已經開始咗自己一個 business， 就係話誒呢門係一門生意嚟嘅，就係、是、叫 Con Mary,、uh, Con Mary or Mary Condo Consultant。係佢要教去 coach 一啲人去幫另外一啲人執嘢，所以去到二零一九年有呢個 Netflix show， 絕對絕對唔係一個意外。咁第二個原因就係、是、你講極簡同埋斷捨離，佢哋都係講得比較 functional 嘅，即係譬如話用一啲好功能性嘅方法嚟抌一啲你唔需要嘅嘢啦。咁但係 Mary c o n d o 講緊嘅係點樣去 keep 一啲你中意嘅嘢，兩種風格就係一種係比較 functional， 一種係比較 emotional。而 Mary c o n d o 甚至乎係 glorify 咗你清潔或者執嘢，你每抌一樣嘢都係令到你個宮殿更加神聖、更加整潔嘅 ，very aspirational， 即係你會覺得啊呢件事係好高級嘅。
即係我唔知點樣譯 aspirational， 但係就係講緊呢件事係你會 you will look up to the fact that you are tidying things。咁所以作為一個 marketing 嘅角度又好 ，Mary c o n d o 其實係比較聰明少少，或者佢冇諗過自己要用呢一種辦法啦。咁但係當我哋馬後炮分析 emotional 嘅方法去說服人哋做一樣嘢，或令到嗰件事覺得係比較高尚啲嘅，係真係有好有用嘅。但係我最怕嘅咧就係、是。哦，有人會教我點樣抌嘢噶啦，得個責任感就唔在於你係你買嗰樣嘢，個責任就在於哦，我負責抌咗佢就 O K 啦。就係、是、呢種責任嘅推卸，令到我覺得最擔心。咁但係無論係 Mary c o n d o 啦、極簡同埋斷捨離，其實佢哋講緊嘅嘢都係一模一樣。我哋嘅生活其實係唔需要太多無謂嘅嘢嘅。今次呢個 video 又差唔多啦。If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, I'm slipping away. So don't.